Well, June 1st is only two days away, and it's an exciting day for restaurants and bars in the area. But dining in at your favorite restaurant will be different when they open this, this Monday. Destiny Wiggins tells us how restaurants and bars will be using outside spaces to accommodate customers. Restaurants and bars have been waiting to find out when they can get back to regular business, and outdoor dining is the next step. The uh, president of the local hospitality association uh, worked a lot with the city trying to uh, have them relook at the way that you know outdoor seating is taken, especially it's more geared towards downtown in general with the patio restrictions or outdoor dining only restrictions that the governor's put in order. Uh, in addition to only 50 people outside, the city has been really great and flexible in trying to work with us on creating some outdoor dining space. Bemidji City Council held a special meeting today where they discussed the plans that restaurants and bars can take to offer outdoor dining. As of today or right now, we've received eight uh, requests and permits for use of our uh, right-of-way and uh, basically uh, also potential amendments for op uh, restaurants that are not in the downtown as well to serve alcohol and expand the foot of their premise. Uh, Nate Matthews from the city has done a tremendous job in trying to organize this and work with all the local businesses to find a way that we can con continue to actually serve some people. Up until this point uh, with COVID, you know, like in our restaurant, our sales are down about 85% typically from where they're at. And it's a timetable, I think, for a lot of restaurants that we won't be able to continue to stay in business if we don't find other means in order to serve some people. One topic that was heavily discussed in the meeting was the idea to create a one-way street downtown Bemidji to give businesses the option for dining on the street. The one-way uh, seems to be a safer way and less congested way of doing things. A lot of concerns were raised by creating a one-way street, but the city decided not to move forward with this plan for now. Most businesses will be using the sidewalk, and barriers will be put up to block off certain parking spaces. Reporting in Bemidji, Destiny Wiggins, Lakeland News. And while the Bemidji City Council did not move forward with the one-way street option, Brainerd businesses can request an extension of outdoor space within 10 feet of the curb, in addition to having access to public on-street parking spaces. However, they are not allowed to use sidewalks. Baxter businesses are also allowed to use parking lots and spaces as well as grass areas for dining options. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.